Hello? Hey, Lex. Max? Where are you? Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Looks like you checked out the whole library. Just all the books on trainers. I've been trying to figure out what makes a great trainer great. Because someday I want to be one, you know? Definitely. Aspire to greatness. So, I'm going to analyze all these different books I found on trainers and training and see what they all have in common. Makes sense. Yeah, I've read so many and I've learned a lot, but I'm not exactly sure what causes what. What causes a certain effect? You're a mind reader. Nah, I just like to read a lot too, so I've learned a lot about cause and effect. Well, in some of the trainer's stories it's been obvious. Like this one, where it has a list of things you can do with your Pokemon. For example, it says here that cast form changes its form based on the weather. You know, sun form in sunny weather, rain form in rain. That's a great example of a stated cause-effect relationship. Weather is the cause, cast form's form is the effect. Right on! But that one is easy. <laughs> yep. Well, they told us exactly what causes that effect. But what about this story? In it, the trainer Barkash takes his electrike to practice in the woods, but it accidentally zaps some wild beedrill in a tree. Then the beedrill start chasing them, so they run deeper into the forest to hide. But just when they think they're safe, they run into a primate. Primates are known for their hot tempers. So this one starts to chase Barkash and his electrike, but electrike battles and defeats it. And that's when they meet Marshstomp. By the end of their journey, the Electrike has met every type of Pokemon and has gained a lot of training experience. It's so good, it helps Barkash win his first gym battle. But who's to say which event caused the Electrike to be so awesome? It kind of sounds like all of them. But is that possible? Totally. That's another kind called a chain cause effect relationship. That's when one thing causes an effect, which causes another effect, which causes another effect, and so on. Oh, cool. Cause in life sometimes a lot of things in a row cause something. Like dominoes. Exactly. A chain of events can have lots of causes and effects until you reach the end. Those kind of stories make great adventure books. Yeah. Okay, but in this book, Shayla's story, a million things happen. And they all seem to cause her to bond more and more with her Pokemon, but it's not like that's written down. I just got the feeling that this story was about their friendship. So how do I know what exactly is the cause and the effect? Sounds like you do know the cause and effect because you read between the lines. When a cause-effect relationship isn't stated, you have to figure it out. You know I like investigating. So how do I find an unstated cause and effect? When it's not clear, you can ask yourself two questions. One, what happened? The answer is the effect. And two, why did it happen? And that answer is the cause. Oh, I think I can handle that. Sure you can. But did you know for cause-effect relationships there are clue words that can tip you off? So, can you tell me? Yeah, but you already told me one. So. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> That's right. Also look for words and phrases like because, if then, since, for, as a result of, therefore, and due to. They're there to clue you into the cause and effect. Good to know. Max, I think you're good to go. Bring it on. I'm ready for a cause effect challenge. Great. But I'm going to need your help. Will you find the cause and effect in this sentence? Keisha studied for her test all week. That's why she got an A. That's right. Because Keisha studied, the effect was she got an A. Can you tell me the cause and effect in this situation? Joel sent his pictures to an art gallery, and next month they will hang them up on the display. That's right. Because Joel sent his pictures to the gallery, they're going to be hung up on display. How about this situation? What is the cause and what is the effect? After climbing to the top of the mountain, Miranda felt tired.
That's right. Because Miranda climbed to the top of the mountain, the effect was that she felt tired. Can you tell me the cause and effect in this situation? If you fill up a jug with water and scoop in tea mix, you can make a delicious drink. That's right. Adding tea mix to water makes a jug full of delicious drinks. Now, what is the cause and effect in this situation? Because Kyle stayed out later than his curfew, he had to eat dinner alone in his room. That's right. Because Kyle stayed out later than his curfew, he had to eat alone. You're awesome. Now, can you click and drag all the cause and effect clue words into the bag? Way to go! <laughs> All right! Yeah! That's a great clue word! Yeah! Way to go! I feel like I can tackle these trainer books. Thanks for all your help with cause and effect. Anytime you have a cause, call me for some effect. <laughs> you got a deal. Later, Lex. Bye. Okay, now it's time to analyze these trainer stories. But I'm going to need your help again for sure. Let's get down to business. Read this story with me carefully. Then, Click on which type of cause-effect relationship it represents. Bracca wakes up early every morning to work out and train herself, and then she trains her Pokémon. After they've all trained, they're all hungry. So, Bracca makes breakfast for everyone. <laughs> all right! Okay, now let's read this one. Then, click on which type of cause-effect relationship it represents. Tabor may be a champion trainer, but it seems like everyone wants to meet him because he's such a nice guy. Way to go! How about this one? Read carefully with me, then click on which cause-effect relationship it represents. Ciro uses a Pecha Berry, a Chesto Berry, and a Cherry Berry to make a Poke Block. Whoa! We did it! Okay, now let's read this one. Then click on which type of cause-effect relationship it represents. Successful trainer Angelique says, You should practice at least once a day with your Pokemon, get a good night's sleep, and always drink lots of water. Way to go! How about this one? Read carefully with me. Then, click on which cause-effect relationship it represents. Cab first worked to gain his Totodile's trust. Then, over time, they became best friends. After a few years, it's almost like they know each other so well they can tell what the other is thinking. So now, when they're on the field, they really are working together as a team, which gives them quite an advantage. <laughs> All right! Now, let's read this story carefully. Then, click on which type of cause-effect relationship it represents. Joe's family moved a lot from town to town, and that's why he bonded so much with his Pokémon, because they were his friends no matter where they lived. Way to go! Wahoo! We did it! That was all of them! And you know what? 
Whatever caused me to check out these books, I'm glad I read them with you. Plus, I already know one of Fett was I learned a lot. And you know what else? It also caused me to dream that someday they'll write about me as a trainer. <laughs> it's amazing what effects little old me can cause. <laughs>